This module we will cover threat emulation, checkpoint sandboxing technology. With threat emulation, we will take files that are potentially might be compromised, send them to the threat cloud, have them emulated, and if there are threats, get notified and block those connections. We can set the emulation connection handling mode for SMTP, IMAP, IMAP Secure, and POP3. We also can change the location to remote emulation device instead of the default public threat cloud. The threat emulation engine settings. We can set the protection scope to either all traffic or just incoming traffic from DMZ or external. We can set the protocol to scan HTTP over any port, SMTP, IMAP, IMAP Secure, and POP3. We can configure which file types we want to scan. Another configuration is the emulation handling mode, background, where connections are allowed until emulation is complete, or hold, where connections are blocked until emulation is complete. Threat emulation file types. We can select the file types for threat emulation and we can choose if we want to inspect or bypass each type. We also have sandboxing reports. You can log into your user center account and you can click on the license for threat emulation and open up threat emulation reports. We can see the numbers here, how many were scanned, how many were emulated and how many were malicious, what types they were and more. The private cloud with Gaia embedded gateway supports a private threat cloud. So essentially, you can have an on-premise Sandblast Threat Emulation Threat Extraction appliance. The private threat emulation appliance can be configured via the web UI. The default is going to be public cloud, and you can see it can easily be changed. To set the threat emulation scopes, you will need to go to Threat Prevention. Here we can see that all the blades are currently enabled and up to date. And if I go to IPS Protections, can see all of the current protections and here we have settings for IPS, antivirus, antibot and threat emulation. So I can see the scope. The current scope is to scan incoming files from external and DMZ interfaces. I can click on that and customize the interfaces or I can just scan both incoming and outgoing files, scan protocols, HTTP and mail protocols. The file types policy, I can go ahead and configure specific file types. And we have the handling mode that we've mentioned before, background where connections are allowed until emulation handling is complete, or hold where connections are blocked until emulation handling is complete, which is more strict, and the option for detect only mode. Don't forget, if you're making any changes, hit apply. That concludes the threat emulation module.